A new study, I don't know if you've heard, by Oxford <laughs> University researchers estimates that 47% of U.S. jobs could be automated within the next 20 years. So we brought in tech expert Shelley Palmer to explain this, talk a little bit more about your blog as you get into this, you know, this week. Good morning. Good morning. Well, basically, my days are numbered, too, so don't worry about it. We are living in the age of machine learning and artificial intelligence, and that comes in a lot of flavors. But what's really happening now is that machines are being trained to do jobs you think that only humans can do. And people are pushing back going, oh, that's impossible. No, nobody can take my job. I'm, you know, I'm a human. I can do things that machines can't. Well, if you're a mid-level manager, your job's probably going first. If your job is taking a number from one box in Excel and putting it to another box in Excel and writing a narrative about how it got there and then you know, thinking that report's all a big deal, Machines are coming for you, and they're coming for you fast. And there are a bunch of other jobs, like commodity sales, if you sell just ad sales, or if mm -hmm. you sell supplies. And if, you, if you, somebody basically just gives price quotes and doesn't have like a differentiated product, and doesn't have special magic to sell, mm -hmm. if you just sell a thing, and you, you need a price quote, and the price quote gets answered, computers can answer those price quotes so quickly, and so much cost comes out of that system that bosses basically will have no choice to, but to replace you with a machine learning algorithm, which we're calling a robot for today. Well, that saves um, money for sure. It saves money, but it also makes you go look for another job. Wow. And so there are a bunch of jobs. Accountants and bookkeepers are pretty obvious, but even the high-level tax auditing that we think that only a scholarly, you know, long-in-the-tooth accountant, I've got to pay big money to have someone look at my... No. Machine learning algorithms can go there, too. And, of course, the big one that people keep saying to me, how could this be going first, is doctors. I, I, this is the one where you've completely thrown me for a loop, Shelley. Uh, okay, accountants, I get that. Uh -huh. um, Mid-level -le managers, the way you explain it, maybe that makes a little bit of sense, although I feel like it stands to reason they would be the safe ones yeah, because no they don't make enough money to be senior management. They're not the bottom rung. They're the meat and potatoes in the middle. But a doctor? Yeah. I, I'm not letting a doctor do surgery on me that's a robot. <laughs> well, well, actually, well, can you even actually call it a doctor? the best surgeries right now are being done in man-machine partnerships between doctors and robots. And the antidote to all of this actually is man-machine partnerships where you team up with a machine and together you actually create a lot of value. But just think about it this way. A pattern matching computer can find a cancer cell long before any human being can see it. A pattern matching computer can look at an x-ray and see things a doctor cannot see. And so we need more doctors than we'll ever be able to train. Right. So having robo doctors available will be all good for you. Look, all look, good. Let's talk about number three here. Yeah. Reports, writers, journalists, authors and announcers. Yeah. Basically us. Us. Yeah. Nice knowing you. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> uh, how? So, so you don't realize this, but most of the financial stuff you read on Bloomberg is already written by computer. They take the analysis of the numbers and a computer generates the pros. Well then replace them. Let them it's, move. Uh, <laughs> sports writing, anything that's factual. So the play-by-play -play is easy already to do by computer. The color is tough because you need to know all you know the cool stuff about the players. Right. Well, all those stats exist. So as the machine learns that the rebound is important, and who's got the rebound as opposed to who's got taken the layup, you're going to see very easily reports getting written. Now, there are text-to-speech algorithms. You know if you have Waze, it talks to you. Right. If you have Alexa, it talks to you. So if it can talk to you, it can be taught to talk to you the way we speak. Oh, um, we are, our days are actually numbered because it's very easy delivering now. Delivering the and, news? Oh, the seriously delivering the Good news. Good morning to you. Yeah. I no, no, but if it sounded day. like that, you, no, but if you, if you sounded like that, you wouldn't have a job either. But when it gets to be the next level, it's one of the first jobs that we're going to see going, oh, no. Become an undertaker or mortician. They're, I, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> there are plenty of jobs that aren't going anywhere, but some of the middle management jobs in the world. I guess I better not, I better not run out of the Botox. Good, so. I have a pretty good blog about it on ShellyFarmer.com, so you can be scared, but don't be too scared. Just go read it and take precautions. Don't quit your job. <laughs> don't quit your precaution. job. Yeah, not, not <laughs> we're just going to lose it in 20 years anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. Good right. to see you this Shore week. Shore up that retirement account. All Boy. right. <laughs> you got a lot more coming up. We'll be right back, everybody.